you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, welcome to Relax, the podcast. My name is Colleen Ballinger. Yeah, I'm Eric. Uh, I thought you were going to write a new theme song. I didn't. I'm sorry. I've been a little busy. With what? <laughs> uh, yeah, That's no okay. new theme song yet. Maybe in a year or two when we're uh, just coming out. Just do it from in your under free time, love. Of do it in all of your twin free time. New babies and a toddler. Hello, everyone. So, welcome to Relax Podcast. This is a podcast where. What is it? I don't know. What is this what podcast? Is- I don't know what it is. What it and I don't know why I always introduce it like as though the person listening mm-hmm. is listening for the first time. I was like, this is a podcast where we blah, 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 blah. But it's like, if you're listening to what is this, 46, 47? I don't know. 40 what, something. I don't know. 40 something. Why are you starting on this number? You're starting an hour. You, if this is your first one you're listening to, welcome. Glad but to have like you. also, why'd you pick this one? <laughs> why not maybe, a, maybe we'll have a, a catchy title yeah uh i don't know anyway maybe you uh, look really good in the thumbnail for this one i doubt that i am a s- sleepy goo okay so fun episode plan who needs to re- really yeah we're gonna have some fun oh yeah we're gonna talk we're gonna laugh we got something we got a couple games we do i don't know okay Love we're that. a mess but that's okay Yes. All right. That's let's uh let's start with who needs to relax today, Lovey, for you. Why do we always start with me? Do we? I don't know. We do. Yeah. Do you? Because you start. don't have. Because you usually don't have. I one, don't have one. And ever, then you're but probably not one. listening to me when I'm talking about mine. You're just thinking about what um, you're gonna say. You know. I not think, to call you out. Uh, but I get a feeling that that's what's I, I happening. I can say relax. I can come up with something. Right now, there's a lot of things I need to relax right now. I love how you prepare. You know, I usually do, but like right now, I'm not prepared. Why? Because um, what are you so busy? Okay, anyway, doing? Uh, who's relaxing for me is C-section scars. <laughs> they hurt. It hurts my abdomen area. It is painful. Yeah, I don't know why it's still like it's been a month. It's been officially as we're recording this four weeks since my C-section. I'm still in so much pain. It's four weeks a month. Four weeks is 28 days. It's not necessarily Relax. a month. Relax. It's technically a There's month. There's like a month that's 20, 28 days. Okay, why do you have to be all technical well, Would you say the twins are a month old or would you say they're four weeks old? I'd say they're a month. If they were born on the 6th, they, I feel like they wouldn't be a month old until December 6th. Which isn't that like, wait, hold on. What in day two is days. It? Okay, relax. You can say they're a month old today. In two days. They're four weeks. I feel like this is another. Oh, geez, what's I, the yeah, first I guess. Day of the week? Sure, I that's fine. Like you can say that, but like, if you say to someone something is four weeks old, they're gonna be like, like a, so a month. No one's gonna yeah. be like, mm, technically, that's not a month. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no one's gonna do that. that. <laughs> okay, whatever. They're technically a month old now, and it's been four weeks since the C-section. I'm still in pain. Is what I'm trying to say. Stop trying to like get away from the you issue are, at hand you here. You are. And you've, I've seen that you've bought um, somewhere uh, bandages specific to that region. Yes. C-section bandages. Yes. What are, are they just like bandages well, for or do, they, or do they have like something else in it? There's two different things that I bought all over the house, which is one is like a binder type of uh, Velcro thing that goes around and keeps all my organs squished in, you know, it's like very, very, it's like a corset almost uh-huh. with Velcro and I've always heard like you really want to wear those after a C-section, but I didn't understand until I had one, like how important it is to wear that because it really feels like all my organs are sloshing about. More so me. than with uh way more so than a vaginal delivery. Interesting. Like times a million. Like I wore one of those after my uh, birth with Flynn, but like only for a couple of weeks maybe. And I didn't feel like. I needed it as bad as like I am in pain if I'm not wearing it. Like, it do they really? So no, bad. I didn't. I didn't like look because I was too afraid to. And whenever we would talk about it, I would. I feel like I would like black out. Mm-hmm. But do they really like take stuff out to get to the babies and then puts like stuff back in? They're you not know, right. They're not like unfurling your there's intestines. Different, there's different versions of it. Like I'm not a doctor or a scientist. Much to you, but you don't know. Well, I know that our doctor said I didn't have to take out your uterus. Which they do sometimes. I guess because she said that sentence to me. Uh, But I've heard both. I've heard people say I have friends who have said that they watched their wife's C-section and they watched like her organs be 
on a table. And like, I don't know that that means like the large intestine. I think it means like, you know, the uterus, I guess. I don't know. I haven't looked into that too much. I've never seen anyone. It's like that, even though if it's going to happen to your partner or maybe even to yourself, it's not something that you're like, I need to know all the details. I don't know. Because well, everyone's I just, different. Some people want to know out. all the details. I watched, yeah, I watched sure. a couple of videos of Fair C-sections enough. and they're hard for me to watch. Vaginal deliveries. I'm like, yeah, let's bring it on. I want to watch that. Like, I think it's fascinating and awesome, but C-sections is like more freaky to me. So I watched a couple and I was like, Ugh! and they kind of looked away. So I don't really know, but I will say this. I realized yesterday, a lot of women say that when they have a C-section, they can, you're numb. Like you don't feel any pain but you can feel them what they're doing. Like you can feel them tugging and pulling and you jolting around. Like I saw someone today describe You it. couldn't though. No, I couldn't feel a thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's so weird to me is I've heard so many women say this. And in fact, one woman today, um, a lot of people out there have been making videos t- to me, like, um, like called Dear Colleen Ballinger, like other moms who've been through similar experiences to like, Help me feel us alone. It's very sweet, and I like love them, and I that's, I'm so grateful to all the women who wow, are, like, that's incredible. Yeah, and so today I was watching one, and this woman said that she had a C-section with twins, and it felt like someone was in her shirt, like going like like this under her skin, like moving Ugh. around. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I've heard that a lot. That my mom even my mom had four C-sections, and she says it feels you can feel them cutting, you feel them going in there and pulling things out and tugging, and and you just don't feel any pain. I felt absolutely Well, you're anesthetic. I'm sure you've talked about this, but your anesthetic went like up to your- To my throat. It went high. And it was strong. And it was strong. You, you felt like you couldn't, didn't have, you lost I felt like I couldn't throat, breathe. So it was very like scary. I thought I was yeah. dying. It was very scary. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel anything. And even when you say like, oh, the table you were laying on was like being jolted around. You don't remember I don't, that. I didn't feel any of yeah. that. Now, you so, said, so- so yeah. our, our doctor used a technique involving both for your speaking of your C-section scar, uh, both um, glue and stitches. Yes. The stitches on the inside. inside and I can feel them. And that's what hurts. Are, so obviously they are dissolving ones. I, yeah. So don't I they have assume. dissolved by now? How long? I would you, assume. I don't know how that works, but I know. We don't have a lot of facts. That's on this the episode. area. I will tell you that hurts so bad because where the external cut is where the because she put glue on my skin but inside or where the stitches are sorry if this is really gross to anyone listening but i'm sure multiple people have crashed their cars <laughs> while listening to this no one's listening anymore yeah. um no. just, <laughs> sorry we're almost done with just this turned up, yeah um it no, doesn't get better the, from here though by the way i thought that wherever the cut was like the actual cut on your body on your skin is where the pain would like be the pain sensor yeah and I don't feel it's I've, mostly the tickly, really never felt the tickly sutures inside inside. Like it's like an inch above where the external cut is. I can't even inside yeah. is so sore. Like it hurts so bad. And I'm like, it has been four Ugh. weeks. Like relax. So that's what needs to relax. Okay. So I'm and then on the outside, it's like a glue is the glue. Here's the glue something. You haven't I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in a couple Wait, weeks. Wait, should I show it to you right I now? I think you should turn around and show it to me because <laughs> I haven't. I'm going to show it to you. I uh, am. Yeah, this is C-section actually C-section scar This check. is actually good because. Bow, bow, bow. No, this is actually good because. I haven't really. I took off the bandage before I took a shower this afternoon. So you don't have a bandage on right now? No. So it's just straight up. I haven't like. Cut. I've Only time I've like really seen it. was it's like, like slit town. Was like when we right were now. at the hospital. Okay. Um, <laughs> is that what town? this episode's called slit town uh, yeah i think it is <laughs> okay um, i'm gonna, i'm really gonna show it to you i know you are i'm just psyching okay. myself up. so instead of a bum check i love you you know that right so whatever planned. my reaction is you know oh, that in care. my heart you of hearts vomit. i love you very oh, much and you know how the last episode we did before we had the babies i was like feel this like section of my body like where, where the like bump the- Meets like the bottom, the fold. Yeah, I still have that fold. Uh-huh. It's like there's like that fold, and then there's Love, like you had a cut. baby four weeks I ago. I had two babies. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm gonna show right. you my C-section cut right now. You yeah. really have. He really hasn't seen it since we were at the hospital. And did you even see it at the hospital? I did. Like, I did kind of, but it's like <laughs> it's kind of when you like, I, you know, when you like make eye contact with. The, with like a stranger and you're like, oh, they're looking at me too. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you, I kind of just looked away real okay, fast. I'm really going to show it to you for real. Okay, yeah. okay. Hold on. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. And she is standing in front of me. You can't see I, this is crazy. Is so that I haven't really here. seen it. I mean, it's like, whoa. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> That's, um, Isn't that weird? No, I want to look at it more. That's, weird this is, uh, 
<laughs> Can I touch it? No. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess, I guess you should. Wow. I don't know that you should. That's interesting. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Why are we still? Why are you doing? It's hot. Why is it hard? <laughs> it's gonna be hard. That's what yeah. she said. It's like a. Um, I think that's. Uh, you I know, can't believe that just happened on camera and on podcast. What Tom. an awesome. Um, <laughs> give me a second here. Uh, well, I will say this. I I really. What I, an awesome like tattoo, as they say. You know yes. what? What an awesome like badge of honor. Like mm -hmm. to me, that is a beautiful thing because like, I got have. Two kids that came out of that slit town. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's kind of small to think about that. that yeah. Well, well, what's what's its what it's gonna what's gonna happen to it? <laughs> You're like, when's it going away? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, I'll have a scar forever. Yeah. Like yeah, that cool, scar's there forever. Cool. <laughs> but um yeah, I think it goes it gets less scar looking and turns more like into a line as opposed to like, oh, this right, person yeah, was yeah. cut open here recently. Mm. But it's weird that it doesn't have stitches, right? Like it kind of looks like it could just open up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. It certainly. It really does look like. Does. That's why I think I like the like binder on it because like it kind of feels like at any moment it'll just open and my organs will fall out of it. Oh yeah, gross. And when I <laughs> when I had Flynn, I felt that way about Down Under. I was like, I feel like everything's just gonna fall, fall out, out of your yeah out of that area. So what do you mean like whatever's in it just felt like everything was going to fall just out. Just everything. Yeah. Like your bones. Yeah, just anything that's in my body yeah. in the mid area, like the torso area, would just fall out. Just flush out And there. sometimes now I feel like that with like the where the cut is. Are you okay? You're very squirt, yeah. squeamish. Yeah, no, I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Are you okay? Fun. Maybe. Fun stuff. Maybe uh, Eric needs a moment. And while he takes a moment, we could say thanks to our first sponsor. Yeah. Do you need to recover? The, I can't wait to hear who it is. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and and how you relate it to what we've been talking about. Speaking of stitches. Oh God. Is it Stitch Fix? It's stitch Fix. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stitch Fix. They will never advertise in this podcast again. Stitch. No, we love Stitch Fix. We, we actually, actually do. do. Um, that's My personal so stylist. funny that that's the first ad. I did not know that. That's really, wow. really funny. We love Stitch Fix. Thank you for sponsoring <laughs> us today, Stitch Fix. You guys, your style isn't one size fits all, is it? It's about what suits your body and what suits the moment. So why not shop at a store that is personalized to your size and style? That's what we do with Stitch Fix. Right, love? Yeah, I'm talking about a personal stylist. Oh, yeah. That oh, works yeah. with what you like. Mm -hmm. Sends you a box to your house. Mm -hmm. Includes an already prepaid envelope. If you want to send anything back, you can stick it in any mailbox. Yeah. You don't have to go to like the post office or anything. No. Any mailbox. Yeah. It's already in there. What? I don't even need to read this. You know it I all. I know it by heart. I know. I know it You guys, well, I'm going to tell you about something extra special. What do they got? Introducing. Stitch Fix Freestyle, a shop built just for you. Stitch Fix Freestyle is your trusted style destination where you can discover and instantly buy curated items based on your style, likes, and lifestyle. Whether you're looking for a brand you love or try a new one, at Stitch Fix Freestyle, you can shop a range of over 1,000 brands personalized to your size and fit. With styles for workouts, to workwear, for lounging around the house, or for a night out on the town, Stitch Fix Freestyle has clothes for any occasion. Plus, there's no subscription required and they offer free shipping returns and exchanges. So get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash relax. That's stitchfix.com slash relax to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. Stitchfix.com slash relax. All right. So my relax was my C-section incision uh, what is your relax this week? Well, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not going to go up from here. It's going to continue. Oh God. Now I'm scared. Well, my, my, do you that, have an incision I should know about? No, uh, I mean, not technically. Oh, what? wait, what's happening? I guess you could consider it one you're born with. What? Okay. My, <laughs> this is going terribly. Okay. Uh, my, my thing that needs to relax this week is a, a specific body part. And I was kind of looking into it because I heard the word today when we were at the hospital. Oh, is this taint? And. Close, um, and the, <laughs> oh, but, no. I'm really but, but this specific body part, and and apparently we have multiple of them, has been kind of like ruling our life the past few days, weeks, and what? it is what I think needs to relax is this. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? Sphincter. The sphincter. Yeah, the sphincter. Oh, your anus. It's in your anus, well, right? 
Wait, you have a few sphincters? Okay, well, apparently we have we have like millions of sphincters in our bodies. Wait, what? But there's seven sphincters. Oh, you know what? They said something about a sphincter today at That's the hospital. Literally, words yeah. that just came no, out of my mouth. No, I know, mouth but I'm just not realizing that they ago. said it. And I thought they were talking about our butt, and now we're like talking about. No, her they're throat, talking. There's, so there's throat. seven uh, sphincters in your um, gastrointestinal tract, right? Mm -hmm. There's seven. Uh, yes. Okay. So Maisie, our daughter, um, has well, a little bit of reflux. Yeah. And so sometimes she gets a little like snorty or a okay. little sneezy coffee. So kind of what a, what a, um, this Wait. is the grossest episode we've ever done. And we not, we're not even talking always, about this pooping, is, I'm actually. actually really happy you bring this up because I always thought a sphincter was like in your butthole. And then it today- is. She, the two, doctor was apparently like, two are in your butthole. Today, she was like, her sphincter's not fully developed yet, so some acid or you know from her uh -huh. stomach can get up in her throat. And I was like, that's a sphincter. I thought the Don't sphincter worry. was in your butt. Uh, Colleen, I do research for these, and I have answers. Okay, tell for me. You. Uh, so first off, a, a sphincter. <laughs> am I saying that? That's how yeah, you say it, right? Yeah. Um, is a ring of muscle surrounding and serving to guard or close an opening or tube, such as the anus or the openings of the stomach. Oh, see? Okay. Okay. And there are seven sphincters in our uh, gastrointestinal tract, upper esophageal, lower esophageal, phyloric, other ones. There's something called the Houston's valve. And then there's an internal sphincter of anus and an external sphincter of anus. And mm. I got a problem with almost all of these. I think that's true. I feel like today you almost killed me. Well, heartburn. I always, you don't like heartburn, do you? I don't think Wait, anyone what do you mean? likes it. I almost killed you. Because your sphincter was not oh. strong enough to hold in the most poisonous fart in the universe. It was and honestly we were outside. I and I, I hereby claim that that was the worst. And let me just say, first of all, we were in line to, at the hospital to go up to security, which was which was we scary today. We were outside in the wind. It and was a little one. Re this is the weirdest <laughs> reaction I've ever had to a fart. I looked at Eric. I said, did you fart? And he was like, yeah. And my reaction was, I was very serious. And I said, well, do you remember what I said? No. I said, <laughs> I just start remembering this. I looked at you so seriously because I was so tired. I go, oh, why did you do that? <laughs> but I said, it's so serious. And he yeah. said, why did I fart? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. But I literally was like, why did you do that? Because <laughs> it was that bad. It was... Um, I mean, because it was, we were outside, like in the wind. It was like a, it was very like, you it know. It was poison. Yeah, it was real bad. It was bad. really poison. And um, um, so your sphincter, I, d I do it. think needs to relax because it's. Yeah. <laughs> your sphincter let that out. And other out. people's various sphincters in our family. I'm not going to get into details, but like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like we're having some sphincter problems <laughs> and it's, and it's, it is always a problem, right? Mm hmm when is your when is a sphincter in your life like ever cooperative? You know what I mean? Is I don't yours know. doing whatever you want it to? Now that I'm Are not you pregnant, fighting against it? Yeah. No, oh, now yeah. that I'm not pregnant, I'm like just I'm pretty regular. Just, just an like, open door. Yeah, it's like I gotta go, get her done, get her out. You know, I don't have really issues with it. Right I have. Now. I don't. I don't have. I feel like I don't have good sphincter control. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's something you can. I wonder if there's sphincter like, like exercises, kangles, but like for your cankles. What is it called when a, a woman exercises her um, kegels? Kegels, kegels or, actually, is what how you pronounce well, what it. What did I say? You said cankles. Kellogg's? No. <laughs> cankles, which is like uh, what they call like what a are we thick doing? ankle. Uh huh. I don't know, but a kegel is an exercise internally in the. But female. yeah, then at the hospital today because of um a reef acid reflux kind of situation. It's like, it's a hard, one of the, it's like a harder thing to develop in, mm -hmm. in, in babies. And, it's and all, preemies, it's it, not yeah, fully especially, developed. Especially a, a problem because that also happened with um, somebody, uh, somebody else. Um, Wait, so, what? but so, yeah. So when the doctor, you know, whatever she is, was like her sphincter. Isn't fully developed yet. Right. Yeah. I was also like, why are we talking about her? But now, yeah, because we were talking about how she was That's like kind of snorty. Yeah. And so then I looked into it and yeah, we got all these sphincters because um, mm -hmm. also they're like in your capillaries and everything. We have millions of sphincters. I thought you said we have seven, seven main ones in our gastrointestinal tract is what I said. OK, That's an, so it's kind of like a door. A a door like that, a muscle ring door. Yeah. Yeah. That like sometimes isn't strong enough to close. It kind of sounds what it sounds like. Or so, open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, could be, yeah, this could be some people's <laughs> yeah, problem. I guess so. But um, 
This Wait, is... Hunt. I wanted to oh, do one more, more thing. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah, okay. I wanted to, uh, because you are, as proven on this podcast, such a prolific speller. Mm-hmm. Can you now, for me and the uh, our listening audience, spell sphincter? I shall try. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess it's S uh, P H I N C T E R. Were you listening to me? Yeah, you were correct. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what I thought you were going to say? Sphincter. Whoa, was that my voice? Sphincter. Are you the voice of Google Sphincter? <laughs> Why, did <that> sound- <laughs> Why did that sound like me? Hold on, wait. Is this- See if you can say it at the same time. Sphincter. Wait, say it again. Sphincter. Sphincter. Is that it's- you? I think it's me. Here, I'm going to play this and then you say it and then we'll see if they can tell the difference. Okay. Well, you just told them who's oh, doing okay. it. So. <laughs> Sphincter. Sphincter. Wow, you sound just same. Yeah. I, but it kind of does actually sound like I me, think you real. are the voice of Did Sphincter I really spell on it Google. Right? Wow. S C H. Oh no, S P H. Oh, that's what I that's, yeah, that's what, what you said. S P H I N C T E R. T E R. Well, I'm such a genius. If speller. nothing else from this episode, you've learned how to spell Sphincter. How to spell Sphincter. Well, I want to move this on. This is what we offer for free. I want to move on to something really important. Sure. So last week on the episode, we talked about. A man we call on the podcast, Gary. Are we're we doing Chronicles of Gary. Yeah, because we said we would. We said we'd give him an update on Gary. Uh-huh. So last week, if you were if you listened to the episode, we talked about Gary, which is not his real name. Um, but there's a security guard that we're calling Gary for security reasons. We want to protect his identity. We're keeping him secure while he keeps us secure. Yeah. And, and our babies. And his name um, is Gary. And he is like, and that's who I said needed to relax last week. Cause he mm-hmm. like never remembers us, even though we're there every freaking day, multiple times a day. And he's always like gives us trouble and makes it way longer for us to get in and causes me to sometimes miss a baby's feeding or whatever. Cause it just took him forever. And I was like, I was really heated about this last week. Yeah. Well, isn't karma something? Karma is something guys. Cause now I feel awful. What happened? Because the next day after we recorded the podcast, I'm giving you a Gary update right now, guys. <laughs> the next I like Chronicles of Gary. Chronicles of Gary. The next day, I, I go to the hospital alone at night um, to visit the babies because um, they were, I'm not going to get into it, but I was, I was going to visit them. And I go into the hospital. I met you later that evening, right? Yeah, I don't remember. I'm sure you did. You're always with me. I was with fun um, for a second. But anyway, I, I go in and the security guard there was new. And he didn't know who I was, that I'm there all the time. And so, you know, I was explaining to him who I am and, and that I'm going up to see my babies. And he was like, well, you know, I can't I can't figure out why I can't find you in the system. And he just was like giving me all sorts of trouble. He wouldn't let me up. And I was like, my babies are up there. Like, let me go see my babies in the NICU. Like it was like, and he was like, I don't know who you are. Like, I can't just let you in, which I appreciate how tight the security is. I'm not trying to knock on security. I love that it's tight security. Um, yeah, but you've been going there twice a day you know, yeah, so for like, hours. Come on, guys. Like, help me out. And there's all we're these more. Other- we're there more than some, empl- you know, most of the security guys, they see us and like, oh, hey, guys, what's up? Yeah. Hey, and, you know, and they they yeah. know we're the NICU parents. Um, and so anyway, uh, this guy didn't know who I was. And there's other security guys there who I know see me every day and were not helping. And I was like, oh, my gosh, there's like something wrong with the computer, something wrong with the system. And we couldn't get in. And I was very frustrated. And then out of nowhere like floating on clouds. Gary just popped up out of no, like literally he just was there. Just in a cloud of he mist. He like was behind. Said. It seemed like he floated in on like the cloud of mist. Like he didn't even walk. He just floated. He floated in behind the security guard who was giving me trouble. And he was like, she's good. And it was like, totally like, yeah, she's going to nick you. And he knew who I was, which that was my big thing last week. I was like, he knows who I am. He's pretending like he right. doesn't know who yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he was like, she's going to the NICU. I got her. And the guy was like, oh, you seem to know her. Like, why don't you help her? And Gary was like, I got this. And he like helped. He saved the day. Did he look through your purse and ask you if you had any lighters or vapes? No, he literally like knew who I was and let me up. And he was so sweet. And I felt so bad that I had. But then. But then we had him two days later. He, we had him today. Oh, today. And he was like. Oh, days don't make sense anymore. Today, today we had him. And he was like, where are you going? Right. Yeah. I was like. Gary, come on. Do you only. And the line was so long. It was. And I was like, Gary, do you only remember me when like you can show off to the other security guys? And be like, I don't know who this one is. You know what I mean? Like today he totally pretended like he didn't know us again. And there was yeah, a day. I thought you guys like when we we're going to go up there, I thought he was going to say like, oh, hey, no, but like, no, nothing. No, After that story, he was like, you where are you me, going? Yeah. And the um, also remember the day where he was pretending to be on the phone 
(laughs) (laughs) So this is the same day, actually. It was like earlier the day that he rescued me. Mm -hmm. I think it was the same day earlier in the day when we were there. He acted like he didn't know us again and we were like joking and laughing because we had just done the podcast talking about mm. him and there's a guy and he was in, doing all the there's things. a guy in front of us who was like i'm here to see my mom and he was like how do you know the patient and he's like it's my mom mm-hmm. and and gary was like all right let me look in the system and pretended me, to look in the system pretended to be on the phone on a computer screen that was just black there was nothing like the computer on wasn't even on it was yeah, turned it was off fully off and he was like all right well, who's her caretaker? And the guy was like, me, I'm her son. It's my mom. He's like, all right, I don't know about this. And he kept, it was like taking forever. And we're like waiting picks like up behind the phone. This guy, picks the phone, pretends to be on the phone, was but like doesn't moving, talk. Like was moving his mouth, but not actually talking. It was like amazing. And then the guy like moved to the side and um, Gary started working with us, acting like he didn't know who we were. And then Gary looks at the guy again and goes, how do you know the patient? And yeah. Eric and I looked at each other. We're like, it's his mom. Like yeah, it's his literally him. mom. It's like, we've heard him say it six times. We know his personal. <laughs> and we just were like, it was very funny. Chain of emergency um, contacts. Yes. And then the the final point of the story. Do is you it, remember this? He still works he's, there. Well, yeah, well, I love him. But he's on the phone. And then he goes, Who is this? <laughs> so yeah. he, he's he been was holding the minding, phone. Minding talking on a telephone for like 40 <laughs> seconds while moving a mouse that wasn't even plugged in and then he finally and goes, then he said, who is this who is this like he was pretending to be on the phone <laughs> like and he like somebody called answered. somebody yeah it was it was pretty amazing so anyway that's gary gary Nobody, does now remember me i think sometimes i think that's the end of the gary saga that's the end of the gary that's the end of who needs to relax for you that was the sequel but you know who doesn't need to relax third, third love, love. They're our next sponsor of the day. We love Third Love. I love Third Love. Oh my gosh. The bras, they have given the comfort to my breasticle area in a time of need, guys. My chest area is sore. I'm pumping all the time. I'm My baby's going to breastfeed right now. I need comfort above all. What's the difference between a bra and a brassiere? Don't ask me scientific questions. I don't know. Call someone well, at Third I'm Love and ask them. Okay. I think a brassiere is a bra. I don't know. I don't know. Is I, there other words for bras? Uh, brassiere. um guys i am uncomfortable these days because of everything my body is going through so comfort is very important to me which is why i love third love and i'm so excited to be working with them again we love them um but you guys might have other reasons you're uncomfortable it's the holiday season you know things get uncomfortable the holiday season right talking nog we're talking eggnog, guys. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with third love, but I'm going with it. So uh, the holidays can be hectic, stressful, or downright uncomfortable. This holiday season, give the gift of comfort with third love, mm. your one-stop shop for all the women in your life. They have ultra soft loungewear for mom, which I need to get in on. Is it on Fun your list? Fun sleepwear sets. Hello. Is it on your list? It is now. Premium activewear for your friends. Lux intimate sets for that special someone. A brazil year perhaps lovey gifting third love means giving joy and feeling good in all day wear that hug better hold stronger and support longer give yourself what you really want this holiday season third love obsesses over every stitch in their underwear loungewear and activewear putting on essential feels like indulging in yourself every day how good does it feel when you receive a gift you are truly excited about the best love you know what to get me this holiday season right a gift that's just gonna hug you all the oh, time. Yeah. Third Love makes being the good gifter easier than ever. Their range of premium everyday essentials makes gifting for the woman in your life completely effortless. It's amazing. You guys know I've been using Third Love for a long time. My body has changed a lot with the pregnancy and then now with breastfeeding. And it's just nice to know that there is a place I can go to find the exact size and fit that I need for my body. They make it so easy for me to find what size I am with their fitting room quiz. It's amazing. I don't have Mm. to go into a store and try to find the right bra, trying a bunch of stuff on or have a stranger like measure me. I just take the quiz online, the fitting room quiz, and I know exactly what size my chest area is at all times. It's so wonderful. Their stuff is so comfortable. Um, You just can make sure that you're wearing exactly what fits you at the right time in your life. I highly recommend, guys. Go check it out. You fit here. Third love obsesses over each stitch. So you never have to think about how something feels, looks, or wears while trends come and go. Third love always has stayed true to one notion. We do comfort. You do you. 
Their love brings comfort from the sheets to the streets with the softest sleepwear, washable silk, and the bras that you won't want to take off when you get home. The 90,000 five-star reviews don't lie. The bras are available in exclusive half cups, underwear, loungewear, activewear, and extra small through 3XL. All right. Love your fit. Guaranteed. If not, exchanges and returns are free. For 60 days, Third Love's team of expert fit stylists are available via chat or text to answer all your questions. So feeling is believing. Upgrade to everyday pieces that love your body as much as you do. Right now, you can get 20% off your first order at thirdlove.com slash relax. That's 20% off at thirdlove.com slash relax. Are there are there um trends in bras? Always. And Third Love? Is where you can get Do you get think like the, the pointy trend will ever come back? I hope not. Do you know what I'm talking about? Madonna. Was that Madonna? I don't know if it was a so trend. I feel like or just before, Madonna like, did like it. the 40s. Like that. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Because it couldn't have been just that boobs were pointier back then. No, I think boobs are just boobs. I think Madonna just wore a pointy bra once. No, I'm talking about like the 40s and 50s. You know, like, you know what I'm talking about? No, like movies and know. things. Like not really. Women had like pointier. I don't think they had pointier boobs. I think the bras were maybe different. Mm. Maybe those are brassieres. Ah. All right. We just had some chicken. We're we back. How was break. your dinner? It was good. I had some chicken and veggies. How's your delish. sphincter? My sphincter? Feeling closed and good. It's all good. So Eric Mine said, doesn't know what it wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Eric wants to do a game right now. Yeah, well, this is, let's uh, lighten the mood, if only for our own benefit. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I've been watching, uh, when we've been getting home late, um, from the hospital every night. I've been watching um, the new Beatles documentary. Uh-huh. Yes, you uh, have. Not an yes. ad on Disney Plus, yes, directed you by have. Peter Jackson. He's restored a bunch of footage, an enormous amount of footage, into a tight nine hour, three part documentary, essentially of the Beatles just um, sitting in a rehearsal space uh, chatting. Yeah. Now, are there, there are some golden nuggets within this many, many hours. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been doing it. You've sat there with me through most of it, That's um, not albeit true. on your phone or wrapping a Christmas present or two. Yeah, I've, I've barely maybe been making around. a cook, cookie. Uh huh. Yeah, cook was short for cookie. Yeah. Um, and I said something during it, and you go, "Who?" You like, said Yoko. Right. You know what's funny is, and he got so upset I didn't know who Yoko was. Well, you just, you didn't know know who who any of them were, which was astonishing to me. Well, here's the thing. And it reminded me of the movie quote game that we've played on this podcast. And I was thinking about uh, catering it to, to rock legends. Okay. um, Starting with the Beatles. Well, I just have to say, we have had this discussion past, so I'm surprised you were surprised. That I didn't know who anyone was. Because it's still just when we so were, striking and strange to me. You're, you're, you and my brother and my sister in law made, do you pop remember when culture. you guys made fun of me in New York because I didn't know who anyone in the Beatles was? Yeah. Nothing has changed. Listen, I like the Beatles. I think their music is fabulous. The Fab Four. And I know one of them is John Lennon. It is. And yeah. sometimes I accidentally say John Legend. Different uh, musician. Different musician, very similar names in my defense. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar names. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I d- I I don't know them all. I wonder if John Legend is like his real name. I don't know. Maybe. You think so? Yeah, sure. Do you think why some, not? Someone has the surname Legend. No, maybe not. I don't know. Perhaps not. Colleen right, so, Legend. So what is this game we're gonna play? Eric Legend. What's this game that was inspired by the Beatles? <laughs> uh, I'm literally just gonna show you a picture of a beetle oh. and see if you can name. That beetle. And we'll carry on from there. There's uh, only four, so this can't be that The Fab hard. Four, like you said. Um, I literally uh, will not be able to do this. For the listener, what do I, how do I do this? <laughs> you're going to have I, to say who's, I, I don't know. You're going to have to tell can them. You like, who, can you roll away and cover yeah, your ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll roll away. I'm, I'm going to cover I'll, my ears as he tells you who the first one is. Okay. The first beetle is John Lennon. Okay, come back. Okay. Don't take too long. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture of all. Is that going to focus? Yeah, how probably make, not. How do you make it focus? Okay, he's trying to make the camera focus on the picture. Okay. If you're watching, that's a it. picture of all four Beatles. Right. Okay. You said you knew the name of oh, one God. Beatle <laughs> who is not John Legend. Which Beatle <laughs> is? Who is the one you were talking about? John Lennon. Uh huh. Which one? Oh my and God. This, so this no is. One knows I'm making it. 
I'm making it easier for you because this is now multiple Love? choice. You even if you uh, didn't know, you still have a one in four chance of being right. I'm just going to say this is a trick question because all four of those people are the same person. <laughs> there is no uh, way. OK, which one is uh, um, what's his name? John Lennon Uh huh. is the only one I know his name. Sure. And I think it's the top left. One. Yes, correct. Yes, I'm so good at this. Correct. Love. I can't believe I got that. This is a bad Again, picture, by the way. Multiple I like, choice. I feel like you chose like the worst pictures. Like, there's no way anyone. It could was guess the first one are. that popped up that had okay. all four of them. I'm just saying. But you guys it, watching in their heyday. I just want to say, anyone watching those Beatles right haircuts. Now, anyone watching right now on YouTube, if you're watching this podcast episode, please, in my defense, like this is this is horrible pictures of them. So you know who John Lennon is, obviously. Yes, the top v- yes. left. Name another Beatle. Um, I cannot. You can't think of another Beatle I, name. I was, when you were watching last night, I looked up and I saw on the closed caption Ringo, which uh-huh. I, I do remember that's the name of Okay, him. Ringo is the Beatle. What uh, instrument did Ringo play? I have no idea. Oh, I have, am I supposed to, do people know these things? Ringo, yeah, they do. Is he the one that was in that other documentary that we were watching? What other documentary? We are watching some docu series on Hulu, I think, about one of the Beatles, and he was like just talking about all the music. No, that wasn't guy. Ringo. That wasn't Ringo. It's Ringo no. Starr, right? Whoa! Yes. Which ah! one is now on this image? Which one is I have Ringo no, Starr? No clue. I'm gonna guess it's the guy next to John Legend. He looks kind of familiar. <sighs> well, no, it's not him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Is it John Lennon and Ringo Starr? And then no one knows who the other two are. <gasps> <laughs> no <one> knows. <laughs> what are their names? I literally wait. Okay, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Give you a hint, George. Yeah. Ugh, George. 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 There's no way. There's a oh, George. George. Yes. George uh, Costanza. <laughs> <laughs> George Harrison. George Harrison. Oh my goodness! Come yes. Come on, that's not. I played no what one instrument that. for the Beatles? No one knows. No one knows who that is. He did the. He did the. Um, okay. I don't know. So we got John Ringo George and yeah. I literally don't know. I literally give pa, me a hint. Pa. Pa. Peter Parker. Pa. <laughs> <laughs> pa. Paul. Paul. McCartney. Yeah. Yes. See, that wait, was a are you guess. Lying? That was a guess. Yeah. Have you heard anything from Paul McCartney these days? No. What did he? Pl- what did he do in the Beatles? I'm assuming he sang. Nice. Yeah. They all sang, didn't right. they? What instrument did he play? I don't know. I feel like they probably all faked it. Bass. Bass. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I don't know these things. Uh huh. So I um, saw Paul McCartney in concert. You did? Yeah. He headlined um, Outside Lands, a festival in I've San Francisco. I've never heard of that. That sounds nice. Um, yeah, so listen, don't come for me. I know everyone's going to hate me. I know this is not relatable, that I'm an idiot, and I don't know any one of the Beatles. I just, I think they're fabulous. In fact, my favorite Beatles song is probably one of, it's a more obscure one. Like, people never think this is their favorite. Like, I feel like most people would never see this their favorite. What would it, would it when be? When I'm 64. It's a great song, yeah. That's my favorite Beatles song by Name far. Name three other Beatles songs. Um, Let it be, let it be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mind you, this is a person who's been absorbing nine hours of a documentary. Submarine. Is that how it goes? Yeah, isn't it? I feel it? like that was your own take on yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. How's it go? <laughs> <laughs> we all live in a yellow submarine. Yeah, yeah I was still uh-huh. singing uh, okay, when more. I was 64. Um, yeah, that was <laughs> so my <laughs> take on that. I was just still thinking of when I was 64. Yeah, um, you sang it. Isn't the one, imagine there's no heaven? Yeah. That one is, which by mm-hmm. the way, I did think it was just John Lennon. I did not think that was the Beatles. Is it just John Lennon or was is it the whole Beatles? Well, he did have a solo career after. I, yeah, I, I think that's it's Imagine more. That's they. certainly more known for John Lennon. Yeah, I don't know. The, I, so that was three. See, All I right. do know their songs. I I'm going to show you. So now okay. that's insane, especially because you've been sitting there for nine hours of a documentary Musicians? on them. Not not only because they're the most mm-hmm. famous band worldwide of all all time. Yeah. I mean, they're not even of our of our time, but like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Know. I know their whole. I was kind of like, you know, uh, 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 I think it's interesting watching musicians play music, but at the You're same time, a, it was you were more like, of a Stones girl. Stones? What do you mean? Oh my god! Like Rolling Stones? Yeah, yeah. That's a magazine. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, no, I I feel like everyone's gonna hate me for this, but that docu series. Who's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? Love that docu series. 
kind of boring. Right. Who's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? I don't know. I only know it as a magazine. Who? Who's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? I don't know. What? You are acting like a T-Rex or something right now. <laughs> who's the lead singer? Of the... I have no idea. Mick. Mick? Yeah. I don't know anyone named Mick. I, I, I don't know. You got know. the moves like. Like Jagger? Yeah. Mick Jagger. Yeah. I didn't know that was a real person. Wow. There's a song that goes, I got the moves like Jagger. Got yeah. Moves. Yeah. We that? don't who have the rights that? to it. And then, uh, who's, who sings that song? If you know that, but you don't know. Oh, but Rolling that's driving Stones, me nuts. Who sings that song for real? You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, I'm ashamed. Fine. Listen, if we were talking Broadway, I'd crush you in this. Okay. I'm going to show so now, any Broadway composer. I'm going to show you pictures of other very famous uh, bands. In fact, I literally just Googled most famous bands oh, of all no, time. I'm screwed. <laughs> and I'll, I'll send these images to my uh, brother so he can just put them on the screen if you're watching oh, and not listening. Okay. Who is this band? Oh my God. Who is that? I have never seen these people in my life. Hold on. Um, I'm going to guess. Whoa. The guy in the back looks like an actor I've seen in movies. Uh-huh. Is he an actor? Is he in things? Uh, I don't believe he's an actor, is but he's Aerosmith? a very famous. Uh, uh, no, it's not. He kind of looks like the guy in Aerosmith. You think Aerosmith? that's Aerosmith? No, I just know that one song from Aerosmith. Um, that's not the band this but is. But that guy in the back, tell me he doesn't look like him. He uh, doesn't. <laughs> yes, he does. I mean, he's a, a Caucasian male with long brunette hair. Yeah. They all look the same. What if I were to tell you that was Nirvana? I don't know a single one of their songs. Who's the lead singer of Nirvana? I don't know. I guess that blonde Kurt? guy. Cameron? Oh! <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I couldn't tell you. I knew song. this would not go well for you, but I had no idea. I don't. I've Kurt never heard of Cameron is the lead singer of Nirvana. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't he get in trouble recently for something? I don't know. Not Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain? Yeah, name you've heard? Is that is that Nirvana's guy? Kurt Cobain? I thought that was like a news reporter. Is there someone else named Cobain? Corbain? Cobain? Should we just turn all this stuff off? No, I'm being serious. Uh, no, I not I mean not Kurt that. Kurt Cobain. Or Kirk. <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk? Um, okay, well, this happens to be the next one. Who's this? Um, Aerosmith. Yes. Who's the lead singer of Aerosmith? The guy with the long hair. Uh-huh. I Which don't know. They're all but seem to have sing, long What's hair? the song he sings that was like in the um, Batman movie in the 90s or 2000s? Remember that one? Um, oh, it's driving me crazy. What song <laughs> does he sing? Aerosmith, they sing that song. Okay. What is it? Do you know what I'm talking about? Don't they sing a song for a Batman movie? I don't know. Sweet emotions, baby. No, what's like their really Living big ballad? Living on the edge. No, don't, they have a really big ballad. I'm being dead serious. It's don't good. Wanna close that one. Eyes. Yeah. I don't want to fall asleep because right. I miss you. Who is this? And I don't want to. Okay. What band is this? Very um, identifiable, I would say. I do not know. They look, uh, I have no idea. I've never seen any of these people. AC. This is ACDC? It is. Shut up. Is this well, you knew the rest now? of it. This is, I, guess, this, I guess AC is pretty. That's you're not them in their heyday. I guess they're a little older in this image. <clears throat> Whoa, I've never seen them before. And I don't do sing other songs. My am black. That's not a song. You just made a throat <laughs> sound. Uh, who's that? Um, oh, I know this guy. Is that Phil Collins? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's that guy? I've seen it before. Uh huh. Sting. No. Dang but it. he is a human that goes by a singular name, like Sting. Maybe that's why I thought. Oh, come on! I'm but gonna get. Not. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. Sting. Um. Okay. What's well, like Sting? And that doesn't help me. It's not that's not gonna help me. Um. Oh God. I. Kn- I feel like I'm gonna get this one. I feel like it. I know it. Two that's letters. Guess, Sting. Wait. A letter and a number. A letter and a number. I mm-hmm. thought you said he had a name like Sting. Well, I'm saying the whole band. A letter and a number. But he. This lead singer. Yes, has one name. It's an Irish band. A letter and a number. Their, the name of their band is a letter, and a number. Uh, you. You too? You too. You too? No way. I think I've seen them in concert. <sighs> no, that's Snow Patrol. Oh I have my. not seen these. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I know. This is I don't crazy. Know uh, the lead wait, singer of U2 name? is it's Bono. Yeah. Ah, just came to wait, me. Wait, that came from like the back. Uh, the deep. I saw it go deep. from the back and then up. <laughs> like I saw it travel through this vein. It went down <laughs> this vein and then. Oh, to your mouth. Yeah, I, I can't believe I remembered happen. that. That was crazy. Okay, uh, Jackson one. Five. Okay, good for you. Um, who's that? This is—is is this girls or boys? This is boys. Um, this is boys. Oh, 
I bet if okay, um, I don't know who these people are. I've never seen them. Did you look up like most famous like hardcore rock bands or something? No, just oh. the most favorite famous. Literally googled most why famous are they bands all white all men, time. First of all, that's why I don't know who any of them are. I don't associate with white men except for you and my father and my brothers. So uh, fair enough. I didn't create this list. Um, um yeah, the, Google al- um, algorithm did. I literally don't know who these people are. Jackson Five. No, who's this? Is not Jackson Five. Who's who are these? Tell me for real. No, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Do you think I would know them? Is there the actual- What if I were to tell you that the lead singer's name was Axel Rose? I don't know that person. Is it the and guy the guitarist's the name was Slash. Slash? Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't know them. These are famous people. Okay, I've never- In I've this not- band, Guns. Me- Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. I don't know any of their music, but Maybe I've heard of sing, that. Send me some Guns and Roses. I don't- I really don't know it, but- Who's that? Um, I don't know, but the guy on the right- <laughs> You don't know? <laughs> You don't know who that is? No. The guy on the right looks like that guy from the, the Will Ferrell movie <laughs> Step Brothers. What's the other actor's name in Step Brothers? I wonder if that, the photo from Step Brothers, like the movie poster, yeah. is Does from this like image. This? Yeah. So who, what's it his, must be. It must be the inspiration. But what's his name for real? The, the actor that was with Will Ferrell and John Step Brothers. John C. Riley. Yeah. He's, mm-hmm. Oh, he's great. Incredible. He's really good. Yeah, it's and not, that, not, he's like not in this band. It's a band too. Is two people a band? Yeah. Well, that's that'll give you a hint. It's their their band is a name and a name. Oh, Garfunkel and Oates. It's not, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Love. So, uh, <laughs> Garfunkel and Oates is like the, <laughs> are two very talented Simon women who Garfunkel. kind of parody the name. Yeah. I messed up. Simon and Garfunkel. But I have to say, I'm really ashamed. Yeah, I've never seen them before. I really haven't. But I know all their songs. But I've never seen them before in my you life. You just never knew what they looked no, like. I've never weren't curious. Them. But I do know all of their songs. Like I'm obsessed with their music, but I don't know <sighs> what they look like. I'm sorry. That like, might be the one to end on. I don't know. I'll, I, I think this is the last one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but they love a belt and they love to hold their belts. They are holding lots of belts. And this is how my hair looks if I let it air dry out of the shower and then brush it. Like it's. Yeah, it's, it's not, not the, great. It's, uh, okay. So who is this? I really don't know. Just give me a hint. Starts with an M. Money, money, one money, word. money. Mm. Um, Ma- machine gun. Mut. Matilda. Metal. Metallic. Metallic. Pens. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica. Okay, I don't know them. I think I've heard of that probably. I feel like I've seen that on a poster. <sighs> but the, who knows what, what people... Did, what, what, no, what? One, no one knows what these people look like. Here, you know what? I'm going to do it to you now, okay? You seem very upset that I don't know any of these bands. You need to come down love you which is great because our next sponsor is calm we love calm i just renewed my calm subscription yeah you did a lot of emotions surface during the holiday season happiness sadness joy excitement stress the list goes on oh yeah is eggnog an emotion (laughs) um it will be this year with us Mm -hmm. remember to take time for yourself this holiday season and make sure you keep your mental wellness in check Take a break with Calm. That's what we do. We need it right now. We are very stressed with everything going on in our lives. The holiday season is stressful enough, but for us to add on like, you know, being parents uh, to now three children and all the stress of our lives, I feel like I've heard you turning on the well, I just, What am I just going to lay awake in silence? Like, it doesn't rain in LA. I need to put on rain sounds. hey From an app with some. Yes. And you, you listen to guided meditations more. Those are your jam typically. But yeah, sleep or like, you know, yeah. stories, sleep stories, train rides. Oh, yeah. We're partnering with Calm, the number one mental wellness app to give you the tools that improve the way you feel. Clear your head with guided daily meditations. Improve your focus with Calm's curated music tracks and drift off to dreamland with Calm's imaginative sleep stories for children and adults. If you go to calm.com slash RCE, you'll get a limited time offer of 40 percent off a Calm premium subscription, which includes hundreds of hours of programming and new content is added every week. Over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds. Sleep more, stress less, live better with Calm. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm Whoa. premium subscription at calm.com slash RCE. That stands for Relax, Clean, and Eric. Oh. Go to calm.com slash RCE for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library that's calm.com slash r c e all right so i'm going to do the same thing to you that you did to me but with broadway people oh okay well okay so this is i don't know if it's the same thing but like it's not i understand but for me it is okay so i'm just gonna show you people in your homeschooled broadway 
Being Legend. homeschooled has nothing to do with I don't me know. loving Broadway. You're right. I love I I love Broadway too. I just like I think I've seen I think you'll four know different cities. shows. I'm I've only I'm only gonna have you guess people who are extremely famous Broadway people. So like I think you'll know them because they're very famous. Okay, so we're gonna go with the first one. Who is that? Who is this? <laughs> Come on, you know who this is? Um are you you're joking now. For real. Oh, uh, oh, her. Yes, oh, her. yes. Do you her. really not know? Yeah, no, her with uh, the pearl necklaces. It's Cheetah Rivera. Cheetah Rivera, yeah. Have course. you never heard of Cheetah Rivera? I've, I've certainly heard the name. But you don't know who she is? Oh, my God. Uh, she's famous I for shared, Bob Fosse uh, musicals, um, right? I shared a stage with Cheetah Rivera, so she's famous for performing with Miranda Sings. But just kidding. Of she's, course. She's actually extremely famous. But I feel Broadway. like in that Bob Fosse show we watched, like she was there. Like she was in the original cast of. Um, Cheetah Rivera? I don't think she was in that Bob Fosse show. I think so. Do mm. I know more about Broadway than you? I no, don't think possible. that's true. I don't remember that Bob Fosse show very much, though. Okay, next one, next one, next one. What are her? Next one. Oh, Who's that's um, <laughs> Bernadette Come, Peters. You know Bernadette Peters. I, yeah. I would have been very sad if you didn't know this one because I'm I don't know her. I know Peters. her from like The Jerk, the Steve Martin movie where she Ugh, sings that. I've never seen that one. You've never seen The Jerk? Mm -mm. How do you know that song on uh, that? Everyone they, knows that song. Ukulele. I know, I no, know. No, again, we don't have the rights. But, um, no, we don't have the rights um, to that song. Yeah, everyone knows that song. I didn't right. know it's from that movie. I thought she's, it was just is, a song. She's, is she a big Broadway person? Yes. Yeah. What? Oh, you said, she, uh, look at this Sunday in the Park with George. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. She's my, maybe my favorite. I think she's great. She's incredible. Incredible actress in film. I've seen her for I, many years. At my, I think my favorite performance of all time on a Broadway stage is her singing in Sunday in the Park with George. It is. You saw it or is it you seen the video? I was, so small when oh, it was gotcha, Broadway. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if I was born. I don't remember the year, but I it was either extremely tiny or not born yet. Mm -hmm. Um, no, it's the song. Uh, oh gosh, now it's I'm having brain farts, not remembering the name of it. it was a, uh, hold on, let me think for a second. No, you are complete. George. No, love. You we, are like they, people make oh, you pay not, for these things. We do not belong together. Uh huh. Yeah, just say the name of the song. I was trying to remember it. I had to sing it to remember. I know everything it. in your body. Your marrow. To, your no, marrow is making I you sing the song. Sing it to remember the name. We do not belong together. Her singing that. Uh huh. Is unreal. So I think it's like the best I performance believe, of I any song ever in the whole you. history of time. Mm -hmm. She's so good, and I saw her in a little night music on Broadway, and um, she she's so good at singing with like a single tear dropping down her face. I don't know. She's so amazing. Anyway. Okay. You can see it from the audience. Yes. I was in the balcony, like in the back and, and I could see, see a it. Single the tear biggest just single roll. huge tear rolling down her face during sin in the clowns. It was so amazing. Okay. Anyway, who's this, you know, this one Sutton Foster. Yeah. And what's this show she's in here? Uh, is that. Oh, come on, love. Come on. Any she looks right here looks right. No. Oh Drowsy God. Chaperone? No, but that's a good guess. Five goes west. I'm so proud of you that you know Drowsy Chaperone. Was she in that? Yes, she was the lead in that. This is Thoroughly Modern Millie. Thoroughly yeah. Modern. Yeah, because the haircut in Thoroughly oh Modern. That's what I was gonna say next. I'm so mortified that you it's gonna be my don't know guest. Millie. I don't know that show at all. No. Oh, I love Thoroughly Modern Millie. I, don't think I was I've ever in heard it. it. You should watch a performance of me in it. Okay, it's if you have that. mortifyingly embarrassing. Um, who's that? You know this. I only chose really famous ones. Patti Lapone. Look at you. And what show is she in, in this photo? Gypsy. You know this. Is she really? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's Mama Rose. And I saw her in this and she was unbelievable. Now starring yeah. in the revival of Company. Yes, yeah, see, you know things now because of me. Because of you? Yeah. I'm a theater person. You would not have known that. I was just talking about uh, it yesterday. Yeah, know, this isn't know. as interesting. Okay, you know who this is. I do know who that is. Yeah. Oh, what's her name? Oh, come on. Are you joking? Ugh, I guess it's not as bad as like how I didn't know anyone's names. This is obviously. Because she was just in that, that um the Netflix. Um, I don't know. I She's on a she Netflix was. thing? No, the Jonathan Larson movie that we watched. Mm. The, wasn't she was like in the diner scene? Was she not? Uh, but I think she was. I think everyone was. I don't remember. Um, but everyone was in it. Yes, she was. First name. Uh, Audrey. No, close. Uh, Audrey McDonald. Yes. Did you know that? Audrey McDonald. Yeah, I did know it. Yeah, it was it was in okay. there. It just didn't come down the vein. I had to th I had to throw some guys in here, too, because when you look up like Broadway legends, it's like all these women. But like I had to look up for guys, too. Of course. Who's that? Um, That's <laughs> the guy from Rent. Uh huh. Yes. His name is like Adam. Yes. Adam what? Savage. No. Savage. That's the voice from Boy Meets World. Oh. 
Adam. So I, was, I think that's the guy from Mythbusters. Adam Pascal. Pascal, yes. I performed with him multiple Did you times. Really? He's very wonderfully. I'm sweet. always surprised by you as Miranda, like in like when you were in New York, like the people that you performed I know, with. Me him. too. I doesn't make any it's sense. So cool. Why would anyone ever associate with me? Okay, next well, one. Because you're a genius. You know who this is? That is <laughs> You know him? <laughs> what is it? What is it called when you just get like a a, like a Google free image of people. What is that called? What's the term for that? <laughs> a stock photo? A stock, it's, it's a stock photo white male headshot. <laughs> it does look like a stock photo. <laughs> you don't know who this is? He was I, in Shrek the musical. Of course. Um, that's Shrek's when I met him. And he's, Shrek's a musical? I think he's currently in company. Oh, cool. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident that this he is. This is a very famous Broadway actor? Yeah. And he mm. was also in the television show It Takes Two with Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. That was only wow. like one season, maybe two. He played their dad. Christopher Sieber. I performed with him. It's very nice. And he's he's done a lot of Broadway shows. I'm sure he's very talented. I he is. Don't, I, he is. I don't. I'm oh, don't it's okay. Here's, here's the next. You, you know this guy. Um, you definitely do. Cheyenne Jackson. Yeah, because he's in a lot of things. He's in 30 Rock. I know him from 30 Rock. Yeah. yeah. And he's your friend. You're friendly with him. Um, I'm friend. I'm, I'm friendly with I, him. I've seen him. I've seen you. Like, yeah. You're, he was like Miranda's first quote unquote boyfriend. Uh, that's why. That's why I know. Yeah. Yeah. So the like, of- I met him because I like snuck my way onto a stage. Like, I'm not you kidding. Actually I actually did? did this. Yeah. I snuck what my stage. It was in Times Square. There was a show going on called Broadway on Broadway. It was right when Miranda got popular. And I'm not kidding. I snuck onto How, the stage they dressed stop like Miranda. You? No. I. They were like, we're not like going to stop finale. this weird person. No, there's a finale moment where there's all these Broadway people on the stage and I literally you snuck did this? on. Yes, this I is can't real. Imagine. Yeah. I, there, I think there's video of it. And I but this is where I met Cheyenne Jackson. He was there and I went up to Do him. Do you have access to the video? Yeah. I'll have to show you tonight. It's real. I really did this. Can you put it in without sound in this? I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. Probably not. But um, I saw him there and I had just made a video saying like that he was my boyfriend. He was going to be my boyfriend. And then I saw him there and I went up to him and I was like, uh, you're my boyfriend. Like, and I just started talking <laughs> to him and he totally played along. was very sweet. Oh, that's so nice. And um, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I met him in passing a few times. I would definitely not say we're friends. Oh, okay. But I don't know why I thought nice. you were. No, I just know him. He, I don't, you know, he's nice. And he's, he just did a, a movie with Harvey, who's one of my close friends. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, Cheyenne's awesome. And we, I mean. I feel like he's like, We've messaged each other. Like he has commented twins. on like an Instagram yeah, of yeah. yours. And well, I've been like, has- oh, you're, I just assume it was someone comments on an Instagram of someone else. I just assume they're friends. Well, he's, he has twins. And so we've messaged a bit How about wonderful. that. And like, well, good for um, him. He's very sweet. Anyway, who's this? Mm-hmm. Do you not know who this is? Stock image. What? White male actor. I thought you'd for sure know him. This is Jeremy Jordan. You don't know who Jeremy Jordan and is? Was he in Waitress? Uh, No. I mean, maybe he did waitress once. I'm. So, I feel like that guy totally. Sorry if I don't know that. Played the doctor, theater people, but I, yeah, I, feel I feel like, like I was gonna. Probably, by the way, I feel like I was gonna say his name, have. and then you didn't give me a long enough time to. Think you about it. You said you. It was a stock photo. We're almost done here. They actually think we are done. Who's this? You know who that is for sure. You know who this is. Is that maybe that's like a weird photo? I feel like I can. You know what's funny is that I feel like I can hear her voice. Uh huh. That makes sense. Carol. Yes. Channing. Yes. You did really good, lovey. I'm very proud of you. See, I only picked, oh, and then I, this one who you obviously know, which is, come on, mm-hmm. who's this? Uh, she's Here. the um, uh, the daughter of um, Are Judy you? Garland. Yes, you know her name. Liza Minnelli. That, come on. I was one, it's pretending. One of the, it's one that of the, one was pretending. No, it's one of those things where like on the spot, like I couldn't think of, it's Liza Minnelli. How could you not know her Arrested name Arrested Development, she's a phenomenal actress. She's incredible in Arrested Development, but she's also incredible in general. Anyway. In, in, in Cabaret. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at, see, mm-hmm. you know, these things that wasn't, I feel like I win. If that was you like do. a face off. I feel like oh, I for sure win. You won. Yeah. You crushed me in that because you thought uh, Bono was Phil Collins. Yeah, I don't know. I still would. If you showed me his picture again, I still wouldn't <laughs> remember who he was for sure. I wouldn't. Um, yeah, no, that wasn't as entertaining. I shouldn't have done that. No, Yours that was, was great. way better. I'm sorry, guys. You I, just underestimated me. And that was, I your, did. That's, I really that's did. what you're, yeah, that's what. But happened. now I just want to show you that video of me sneaking on the stage in in New York City in Times Square. Well, well maybe you can find it and we can like put it in under us talking a about sign it. Sign or something. Seth Rudetsky was there too, and I interviewed him. I don't remember. It was weird. It was a weird. Day. I stand by my my sentiment that like, man, I wish I knew you. I do too. Time. 
I can't like believe how, you didn't. It's so weird that there was a I time like where maybe I didn't know we you. Did somehow. I know. I think we must have somehow crossed it, paths. We must have. I don't know. I've, but yeah, I, I, can't I but I do it. wish I knew you in that. You would have I loved wish I that time period. There. It was very fun. It was hectic. And laughed and supported you in that. Oh, me it would have been great. Yeah, me too. Um, but you weren't. But now you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know what? The, that time was so hectic in my life because I was just traveling constantly and like. Always had to have a pair of red sweatpants in your trunk, right? Or a skirt, actually, at that time. It was a skirt and a button down. And then eventually became the red sweatpants. But When did the uh, red sweatpants that said haters back off, when did that first, do you remember when that first happened? When did the red sweatpants happen? Yeah, because that's kind of. Lovey. Oh what you're God. known for like when did like the red sweatpants that say haters back off on the are you butt, kidding me? like first appear okay what when the, when the red sweatpants began is different than i when knew the who haters carol back, channing was it's different than when the the haters back off went on the butt what do you mean so the there, red sweatpants were a came thing first yes oh i, I know the story i know you're the, saying this i know like, the story of the show where like that's all you had in your car at the club and so you had to wear that because why because they could see through the glass stage. Yes, I know you were that. in the television show that explained like, this. Right, and I'm in the, the, sh- the television show. You're in the literal show. scene that explains where the red sweatpants come I know, but, from. I, but also like, but I, I, I just meant like, I meant like not in the world of that show or, or in real life. I meant like in the chronic the chronicle order of Miranda Sings on, I guess, YouTube. Mm-hmm. When was it like, we're going to have red sweatpants and they're going to say haters back off. On the booty. Well, the sweatpants started because of what you know, like yes. from it's explained in Haters Back Off. It's a true story. Episode four of season one uh-huh. um, where I was going up on a stage. Miranda always wore a skirt. People could see up the skirt. So I needed pants. They were in my car. They were like holiday pajama pants. They were just maroon colored. Anyway, I started wearing them more often because they were more comfortable. I wasn't worried about like if I needed to lay out on the floor for something, which I did often as Miranda um, on stage people. Yeah. Yeah, And acting out scenes like I often Mm -hmm. did Little Fall of Rain, um, which is a song from Les Mis and Eponine in that song dies. And so as Miranda, I would die and lay down on the floor. I would do dancing like the homeschool skirt. Yeah. The homeschool skirt just didn't didn't cut it. So I started doing pants and um, there were two pair of pants. Actually, there's a red sweatpants and there's a black pair of like tight yoga type pants with a pink stripe on the side. Those were the two pants I would rotate. Oh, funny. I didn't know And then um, I would always say haters back off in my videos, which Mm -hmm. became the phrase. Like people just- Was there a point where you realized like, oh, this is like the catchphrase? Yeah, because everyone was saying it. So it wasn't like I thought it. You just said it like the first time you said it. Yeah, I just was saying it. The first, second, and third time you said it, you were just saying it. I was just saying, and then in the comments or something, you were like, "Yeah, people were like saying like haters back off." Oh my gosh! And at some point, a light bulb went off where you were like, "Oh, that's the catchphrase." Or yeah, I guess. I guess catchphrase is the only. I wish there was a better term. Yeah, it feels like the only. Yeah, it just like seemed like everyone was saying it, and so I think it must have been like a few years into doing Miranda. Um, we just, I just decided to put them on the butt. I don't remember why or how, but like then I so, had a maid. Like now, or I guess like the next time, it's just like a thing at like your live shows and mm-hmm. everything. Like everyone, like that's the hot. And I remember item is that's that's how I associate with you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel like people associate with the red sweatpants. It says haters back off yeah. on the butt. And haters back off. I remember when we came up with the name of it for the TV show because it was unnamed. Like when we were pitching it, like we didn't know what to call it. Even though that was like. Like what I, it was just on my pants. It wasn't like, and so it was just haters back off was on my pants. And it was like what I said, I'd be like, and in my live show, which the showrunners had come to and producers had come to and stuff of mm-hmm. haters back off. I would say like, I'd show all the hate comments and I'd be like, and what do I say to them? Haters. And I put the mic to the audience and, and they'd all scream, scream back yeah. off. And so I guess maybe that resonated with them or something. Cause I know that one of my showrunners Gigi, one time we were talking about what should the show be called. You still didn't know at that point. I didn't know this. I well, just thought you always knew. I know like it's it wasn't on the butt like of by the, the time I had showrunners, they didn't it didn't have a name. Yeah. And I think she was just like, what about just haters back off? Like, should we just call it haters back off? And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. And we just kind of were like, yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's, that's so how crazy. that happened. It just. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't I think I've was, never been a person that like has a catchphrase like I don't have a did I, I do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have that. And, and then so they were. And, and you're then, a person that does have that. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel like that's what happened. That kind of interesting. But I know that the Haters Back Off logo, we were in the writer's room writing an episode and they sent us the first draft of like the first script. Uh-huh. And it just said Haters Back Off on the front. And I was like, no, I have to 
I can't just you can't have just it be that. typed. So oh right, oh, right. I wrote the it, look of it. Yeah, on it's, a it's piece of paper on the back of a script, and I took a picture of it with my phone and sent and it to it producers, and then it just became on the poster and everything. Like literally, it's an iPhone photo of my handwriting on the back of a script is what's on all the posters and on Netflix and I everything. I knew so that. crazy. Anyway, I don't know how we got to talking about that. I guess I'm a narcissist or something. It's like a four hour episode. Oh, geez. Let's you move narcissist. on to our next sponsor. Um, they are amazing. We love them so much and we very much appreciate them right now because we are exhausted and we need extra hydration. It is liquid IV. Oh my people. Oh my gosh. You guys, our daily routine right now is crazy. We are getting up early. We're going to the hospital. We're spending so much time at the hospital. I am breastfeeding and pumping, which makes me super thirsty. What do you need to be? Hydrated. I need to be hydrated. And My daily routine is just drinking liquid IV over and I over I know. Again. And then also- I'm overhydrated. And then we're coming home, playing with our toddler, going back to the hospital, trying to juggle work. Our schedule is crazy. And I used to, when I was pregnant, get actual IVs pumped into me every week. And now I don't. So I really need this. What color and is your pee? <laughs> We're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Cooler weather makes it easier to miss signs of dehydration like overeating or perspiration, which means it's even more important to keep your body properly hydrated. Flu season is in full swing. Proper hydration and vitamins can help support a strong immune system. All right. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Not only that, but the product tastes great with flavors like watermelon, strawberry, and lemon lime. Are you going to be or in passion fruit, which I drank yes, an hour ago? So good. Um, are you guys going to be enjoying a few extra drinks now that the holidays are approaching? Keep this talking about is, that nog. This is what you need, guys. All right. Like I said, we love Liquid IV. It has been helping us so much stay hydrated in this very hectic time of our life. Um, Truly, and they sent us a bunch, and like, there's an entire shelf. Yeah. In our pantry dedicated. Oh, they're just actually, to liquid he's IV. not kidding. Some people have it first thing in the morning. Some people have it before a workout. We just kind of have it throughout the day, <laughs> like all day, every day. We're we very really like it. People. It helps Thanks us to, to feel them. very hydrated and they taste really good. Um, we do love the passion fruit. That's our go to these Tangerine days. Tangerine also. Oh, yeah. Liquid IV hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. It contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. It's healthier than sugary sports drinks. There's no artificial flavors or preservatives and less sugar than an apple. And it's made with clean ingredients. So there's no GMOs. Vegan. It's vegan and it's free of gluten, dairy, and soy. You guys should check it out. Grab your favorite liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code RELAX at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code RELAX at liquidiv.com. Come. Colleen. Eric. Hi. Hi. So uh, one of the great things about this podcast, we get to have conversations no. that um, we don't normally get to have because of life, life in general. <laughs> um, we are married. Yes. We are also tired parents of. Yes. <laughs> three. No, we're not. <laughs> three kids. We, uh, I mean, we oh. are. You like to say. A we toddler a, and we twins. Have, we have a toddler and twins. Mm -hmm. It sounds sounds younger. Sounds better than it sounds hipper, younger. Parents of three. Yeah. We never thought we'd be parents. Three is like you had two, and then you were like, do another one. Yeah. What? Crazy. We were like, do one, and we're like, ah, oh, should we do another one? I guess we'll do one. Surprise. More. Uh -huh. Surprise. And what a what a wonderful surprise. Yes. Um, we have three children. Okay. I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and something else is going to be three. What? Oh, our son. Our son. Yeah, it's uh, his birthday this week. In Yeah, in, in six days he will be when, well, we're, recording when we're recording this. recording this, but on the 10th uh, he's turning uh, He will be three. three years old. Yeah, pretty exciting. You're going to have a three-year-old I know, that's kid. so weird. I can't believe he's already three. That's weird, right? We're going to have a three-year-old kid. I know. Isn't that nuts? He's so awesome. He's the coolest three-year-old literally on planet Earth. Like, he's actually the coolest person. He's the person. best human I've ever met. No yeah, offense. Really. He really is the best human um, I've ever met. So, mm -hmm. what are we doing for his birthday? Ugh, I know. We haven't talked about this yet. No, we so, haven't. This we is literally the first time we've talked about this. Um, so... What'd I you think, get him? What did you get him? Oh yeah, we don't know. We, we he got does, him. He doesn't listen to this podcast. We can talk about this. Okay, I got... He, does, <laughs> he doesn't have social media. He doesn't well, listen to podcasts. Your parents are going to be in town. Yeah. Um, so Yay. I thought we could just have 
our family, so like my family and your parents just here for like, you know, like dinner time. talking every Ballinger? We're We're talking multiple Ballingers? every Ballinger, but like my siblings, their children, if they have them and my parents. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. They, we just have everyone over for dinner and, but what did I get him? Right. Is that fine? And we'll get him a cake. Like he'll be excited. Family and cake. Of course. Yeah. But like, is there any kind of like curveball, like a, like a, Pony. By the way, wait, I also have to say, by the way, we would throw him like a huge party. Well, his first his first birthday was it was was just huge. pre-COVID. And it was like it, we did a dog theme and I it mean, was there we were, had a there hot were dog dogs. cart. There we was a hot dog here. cart. We dressed as dogs. A cotton candy cat burrito was a cake. cart. We went wild. But we are um last year it was the middle of the pandemic, so we couldn't have a party. And this year, um, we have to be extremely careful that we don't get sick because we need to be able to get back and forth to the, the NICU. Hospital, yeah. So we can't have a party with a bunch of kids. Vaccinated like we just can't. or no, like has nothing to do like with that. Like you, you get the cold. sniffles, you can't. Right. So see, we can't see our children. Well, and worse if they catch it, like you know, well, they're tight. Of course, so yeah, no. we can't really do like a big thing. Um, no. But I did but get can him we presents, get, like a goat. A goat? I mean, I don't know, like something. Yeah, we can get something. I mean, we can get like a bouncy house or something He'd like that. Uh-huh. Kind of, ha- I don't know. Like what kind? Like what? I don't. Know, we. Could, I'm sure there's like a race car bouncy house. Uh huh. I don't know. Should he we would do like that? To see construction. Can we rent a construction? Like a truck? construction truck? Oh, like rent a construction like truck. An actual one. What? Like a forklift. I mean, get a skid steer. Yeah. And like, even if it's just like parked under, I feel like I could drive a skid steer. I think you definitely need listeners of this podcast, by the way, like you obviously at this point should know what a skid steer is. It's like the mini kind of little skid steer is always having fun. That's what the song says. Yeah. I think I'm going to rent a skid steer. I'm sure there's a way to do that. There's got to be. Okay. I'm on that tomorrow. Okay. Anyways, okay. So what did I get him? I got him a tiny little motorized monster truck, which has been his favorite recently. He's really into monster trucks right now. He uh-huh. even told me he wanted a monster truck cake for his birthday. So I'm making him a monster truck cake. Okay. Um, so I just need to get a little monster truck, which we have lots of, and I'm just going to make him a sheet cake and put crush up Oreos for like the dirt, make like a mountain of frosting and just like have like a monster truck. So you're making the cake. Yeah. Okay. I think I should. Yeah. Uh, of course. Um, I mean, I could get it made, but like, I don't know. No, no, no. And he just, could help yeah. me. I feel like it would be fun. It'd be for fun him. for him. Yeah. Um, okay. Not so a surprise, but yeah, I got him a monster truck. It's small though, but like he can ride it, but it's not like one of those big, like not a drivable, big, not cars. a big wheel. No, it's not like, what do you mean? Those... He can ride it, but it's not a, so like he can sit on it. Like it's like, what, <laughs> what is so... it? Can you show me a picture? Yeah. So you know, like how the, you know how he has like the Jojo Jeep and it's like big and he can drive it. Yeah, you're, you bought him a monster truck. He can sit on, but he can't drive. No, he can drive it, but it's what? not like. <laughs> 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 no, he does drive it. He can sit on it and drive it. But I love it's how not we like... haven't talked about this <laughs> at all. <laughs> so that he picked it out, like uh-huh. he saw it, and he was like, "I want that." And we saw a video of it, and I was like, "Oh, you want that? Yeah, we can get you that for your birthday." And he and it's then funny. he saw a video shopping, of it. Shopping. Hold with... on, hold on. Let me yeah, okay. I just have to finish the story. So he. He saw it. He wanted it. I said, okay, we can give you that for your birthday. And then he saw a video of a kid driving it because that's mm-hmm. how he knew he wanted it. And he goes, oh, mama, they sent it to his house. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. He's like, they send the monster truck to that kid's house. That's and he so was great. like super bummed about it. And oh, I was like, oh, so darn funny. it. So oh, he doesn't too late. understand. I already he, said to that kid so in the video. <laughs> he doesn't understand that <laughs> like, there's, there's more than one, more than yeah. one in the world. Um, so I can show you a picture of it. But anyway. Yeah. I was going to say shopping with Flynn online. Mm-hmm. He like he's just so you know, if you're um, a manufacturer out there selling these things, mm-hmm. Flynn's not going to buy it if there's not also a video. If it's not like right. image, image, image. And then there's a video oh, yeah. of the product no, it being has played to with. Video. It like, has Flynn's to. not going to click add to cart. No, absolutely. Without not. a video. No. All right. Let me see if I can find uh, someone sent it to me because there was like a Black Friday deal on it or something. You're just looking through like random photos in your text message. Like, yeah, I feel because like I, I have receipts. Who texted bro. me? Maybe it was um, my sister in law. So let me look this up. All right. I found a picture. Oh, see what I'm saying? So well, he, he can write it. Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. He can write it. So Why I, were you saying he can't? He can't. I'm, I, no, I didn't. I was just trying to say it wasn't like one of these big ones. Like it's like a little one you sit that one on. Like, oh, it's, it's a monster truck that he can sit on. Mm-hmm. Does it go? Yeah, it goes. There's a video of a kid doing it who's not Flynn. Why did he already get it before him? I know. So mm-hmm. see how tiny it is? Like it's mm-hmm. a small. Anyway, I got him that and I got him um, like a flatbed tow truck with some cars on the back of it. It's kind of big. I got him. A I got him. 
I got him an Ollie ball. He really loves Ollie balls. Uh huh. So I got him that. And it's a glow in the dark Ollie ball. Yeah. I feel like that's also just so you know what your mother got him because she showed me a bunch of them that she bought. Hmm. Okay. Well, he'll get it for Christmas then. He'll be excited. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, what did you get him? I got him a couple other things. I don't remember. I will, instead of telling you, love, let's unbox it. Isn't that mm. a thing you guys do? An unboxing? Okay, open it up. Is that a... Uh, well, it's not something you do on a podcast, really, because you can't see no, on a podcast. I'll bring it near the mic so they can oh, hear it. Oh, come on. That's obnoxious. He's literally opening it up. This is the rudest thing you could do for a podcast listener. An unboxing? I didn't think it'd What'd be you this get? Big? I don't know what he got him. This is the first time I'm seeing it. What is this? That is a flatbed tow truck with a flatbed tow truck? Oh, I think that's the, the trailer. So this is the um so so this is uh the rig. What what did you get him? What is the this? It's like a flat it's a Merce <laughs> A flatbed tow truck. It's a Mercedes Benz flatbed trailer. Mm -hmm. With a remote control? As Flynn would call it. A mocha, a mocha, a troll, a mocha, a troll. It has a mocha, a troll, and this part, like the back part, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, he's going to lose his mind over trucks now since my son is goes down and up. Mm -hmm. Not only does it drive, and you can like steer it, like you can then stop, and then this part, mm -hmm. the um, the trailer back part. Wow, I'm sure Flynn would know better than I would what that's called. A goes ramp, down. yeah, ramp type thing. He's going to lose his mind over this. It's very big. It's like, a, I was like, why is the box so big? Yeah, I was thinking we got to ramp this uh, ramp. <laughs> we got to wrap it's this got stuff. A, it's got a tractor switch, guys. It's got a holder up and down, screw plate up and down, uh, forward, backward, turn left, turn right, speed function, and simulated sounds. Oh, yeah. We love sound no toys sponsor. in this house. Um, he'll love that, love. I think it's pretty cool. I think in the morning of his birthday, we should have some family time. Maybe the three of us go do something uh -huh. together. Um, I like that during birthdays to have a little moment. Of course. The three of us. I would love that too. Honestly. And, yeah, me too. And, um, like we and need then that right now. during his nap, your parents will be in town. They can hang out with Flynn for a few hours while we go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, um, um, and then we have everyone over for dinner and cake. And then we go back to the hospital when he goes to bed. I think that's what's going to happen on his birthday. I know. Um, so, yeah, we'll just make the most of it. When he's not awake, mm -hmm. we'll be at the hospital with the other kids. Um, right. But, yeah, I think I think the idea that I've come up with during this is that we have to get an a, like an actual construction vehicle here. Good luck. I don't know how that happens, but we're going to work on it. We'll update you next week. Thanks for listening, everybody. We love you. Oh, that was good. I feel like we got a, that was good. Like the last segment, we got like some like we got some, some actual stuff work done because now I'm certainly going to bed. <laughs> I thought you were gonna I'm, say pump. Well, that first, I'm gonna pump and then go to bed and wake up a couple times to pump and listen to the sweet sounds of you sleeping. What does it sound like when you pump? Can you do an impression of the sound of you pumping? It goes. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> this is what I fall asleep to every yeah. night, and then mm -hmm. wake up to. And then fall back asleep too. I wouldn't say you wake up to it. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.